Hey guys and welcome. We got ourselves an unboxing. That's right. Got me a new movie that I just picked up. Um, didn't even know it was out on Blu-ray yet. I picked it up this weekend when I was at Best Buy and um, yeah, I was like, and it was the last one too. I was like, I gotta get this. I didn't even know it was out yet. Attack on Titan. The movie. Part 1. Part 2. December 6th. So now I know that this second one's coming out on the 6th. Um, yeah, I'm going to get that too. So, okay. When I first heard of Attack on Titan, I heard about them doing a live action movie of this. Um, had no idea what the hell it was about. I had no idea it was an anime. Didn't know how it was a manga. I know nothing about it. Zip, zero, zilch, nada. I had a person I worked with, a co-worker. She knew all about it. She was like all excited about it. She was talking about Attack on Titan. I go, yeah, I heard they're making a movie about it. She goes, yeah, it's based on a manga on an anime. I'm like, wait, what? She goes, yeah. It's really cool. I was like, I go, dude, I go, the movie looked, the trailer looks cool. Uh, from the post, I mean, from the posters I've seen, they look pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping the movie's really good. I'm hoping the special effects are pretty good. And, um, then I got it, then I watched the anime. Holy shit. It was amazing. Um, and as all of you guys know, I was, I was not a big anime fan. I did not like anime. Couldn't get into it for the life of me. Um, the only anime I ever watched was that got, that got me into like, that was like a slow into it was Dragon Ball Z, of course. Uh, because my brother was into it. He sort of watched it. I watched a few episodes with him. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho was definitely one show that I, I liked right away and I watched a lot of. Uh, then you had Roroni Kenshin. I watched a few of those. And, uh, that was pretty, I think that was pretty much it. I think there's another one. I can't remember if there's another one. But those were the main ones that I, I watched and I was like, I, I liked it. And so I got into it just recently and I watched Psycho Pass. What the hell? Uh, it was Psycho Pass I got into. I blew through that one, uh, Death Note, I watched that one after I already watched the live action one. I watched, um, what's the other one? I just, uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Oh my god, that was a good show too. Oh fuck. So yeah, so I'm, so like a Full Metal Alchemist, I got the whole series on Blu-ray, like you've seen my unboxings for those. Guys, I watched both Brotherhood and the other one. So yeah, so I've, I've slowly becoming, gotten into anime a lot. But, uh, Tech on Time, the movie, part one, Blu-ray. Um, the audio is only in Dolby 2 HD, no Atmos, which would have been pretty cool in Dolby Atmos, if you ask me. Uh, especially with the Titans, for speakers are going to be giving you sounds above. If a Titan's like roaring, like they did in the scenes, it would have been cool to hear it overhead. You know how much more immersive that would have been? How, that would have been fucking creepy, watching the movie and also hear the Titan just you know, roaring and growling. But it's coming from above you? You probably would have shit your pants, pissed your pissed your pants as well. I mean, um, that would have been a perfect, uh, collaboration with, with the audio with this picture. I mean, as far as that goes, cause there's some scenes where you're, where it's there, it's like, fuck, that's just not cool. But yeah, um, special features only come with Japanese trailer, US, uh, theatrical trailer and trailers. That's it. No makings of, no nothing, no nada. They're probably gonna come out with a special bonus collector's ultimate ghoul and gaggles of stuff on it, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll steal with these because uh, I loved it and I, I wanted to watch it again. So, so, so yeah, this is the uh, the cover. It's nice. It's, you know, embossed right here, the, the name. And uh, Aaron, of course, is embossed. I like the sides, though. That's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. All right. Where's my blade? Where's my blade? I always got to have, have it ready. Yep. All right. If you have not seen the movie, definitely check the movie out. It's definitely worth trying out. It's worth watching. If you like foreign films, if you don't like anime but you like foreign films, check this out. If you don't want to watch anime, I do suggest you watch the anime though, especially from somebody like me who didn't like watching anime and watched the anime and loved it. Of course, it's the same. This is the front and the back. All right. To rise above monsters, you must become one. And, uh, yeah, it gives you the whole synopsis of the movie. I'm not going to read it because it might be wrong. I, sometimes these synopsis don't match up with the movie. And, like, you watch the movie, you're like, that's not what it said in the back of the movie. It was totally different. All right, we're opening it up. This digital HD copy, I'm keeping for myself. I know somebody who's, who's already going to have it. Now, this is pretty cool. You have Aaron on the DVD disc. That has the uh, movie and the uh, features. And you have Mikasa. 
on the Blu-ray with the special features. So it's pretty cool. You get Blu-ray feature, uh, feature film, DVD on feature film, and the extras are on the Blu-ray. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. So I'm going to think Armin may be on part two. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but let's check on the inside because they have artwork. Holy crap. Dude. That's fucking amazing artwork. I love that picture. That's a pretty cool picture. Oh my god. Gotta make sure to get in there. There we go. That looks amazing. Holy shit. Oh man. Um, yeah. This is, uh, this is definitely an amazing movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I suggest you watch it. If you have not seen it, I swear. And if you like any of foreign films, check this out. You will not be disappointed at all. At all. Um, I watched this in theaters. And uh, a bunch of us, and I happened worldwide, where I got stuck right at the training camp, and it's uh, and it got stuck. The subtitles got stuck, and the subtitles stuck on. I've been waiting for this moment. Now, we were sitting there waiting to see if it was going to change. Now we all knew it was hardcore, but we we're just hoping for a miracle because we wanted to see the movie. No, we it was a running joke. Everybody was sitting there. Somebody was talking. All of a sudden, he started screaming. He goes, "Well, obviously, he's been waiting for this moment." Or somebody else was talking like, she's definitely waiting for this moment. Somebody comes out of nowhere running and screaming before he punches somebody. He goes, oh, you know hell. He's been waiting for this moment. But um, it was a big running gag. If you were in the theaters for that moment, let me know in the comments below if you were there in your city watching it and you were having that problem for, I've been waiting for this moment. But let me know in the comments below what you think of the Attack on Time movie if you've seen it, if you liked it or not. And um, if you read the anime, the manga, if it was better than the anime, or if the anime did justice to that. And I'll see you guys around for more. And I definitely can't wait for the next batch of uh, Attack on Titan because they finally said they're getting more. Because it ain't on a cliffhanger. Damn it. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.